The Fitchburg Art Museum recently reopened, and on view now is an exhibition tailor-made for this moment. It examines the connections between life and death, and the desire of the living to connect with the dead. Nick Capasso, director of the Fitchburg Art Museum, thanks so much for being with us. Thanks, Jared. Well, this is such interesting timing. After spiritualism had opened, had just opened at your museum when the pandemic happened, but I, it sounds with a title like After Spiritualism that it's a show probably more appropriate for right now. Yeah, so the, the title sounds a little esoteric, and it, it's really not. So spiritualism was a practice developed in the 19th century by people who really believed that the living could communicate with the dead. And, and there are a few artists in the show who believe that and who are active spiritualists. But more important than that is it's a metaphor. It's a metaphor for connecting all the connecting points between life and death and the people who are here now and the people who have come before us. It's 15 artists. Almost all of them are contemporary New England artists. They're all living artists. And the scope ranges... Uh, paintings, prints, uh, video, video installations, interactive exhibitions, sculpture. So there are many media. It's not constrained by media at all. We're going to speak with one of the artists featured in the exhibition, Keith Morris Washington, in just a moment. Uh, but what did you see in his work? How did he come to be in the show? Okay. I, I've, I've known Keith and his work for a long time. And when our curator... I did not organize this show. This was organized by Lisa Crossman. And when Lisa came to me with this idea, I said, you need to talk to Keith. Um, because I remembered this body of work that he had made of paintings of historical sites of lynchings in America. And they're so, they're just staggeringly beautiful. And he uses this kind of old artist trick of creating something very beautiful, very colorful, very energized, very inviting to draw the, the viewer in, become immersed by this place that he's creating, and then the viewer reads the label or the little description, and it, whammo. Hmm. You know, the, the, the horror of it all is delivered when the viewer's defenses are down. This body of work is so moving because um, it's, it's just, it's the perfect metaphor for what's going on in America right now. You know, America is beautiful. There's so much beauty here. And at the same time, embedded in the landscape, there's so much terror and horror. As I mentioned, we'll, we'll explore that with him in just a moment. But before I let you go, I have to ask you, the Fitchburg Art Museum is open again. Yes. <laughs> you've, you've been able to watch patrons come in. Is it different? They seem to be spending more time in the museum than on, you know, a regular visit, if you could call it that. And I think some of it is that the show just happens to be so timely that it's connecting on many levels with a lot of things that everybody is thinking about and feeling right now. Well, Nick Capasso, you know, I always love talking to you. You do such great work out there. I appreciate Thank it. You,